Even where we are, would you assume that at this point the vice president would be isolated, meaning you wouldn't want to have him travel a lot, that you'd almost want him no. sort of camp yes. at, the, at the Naval Observatory at this point? We have to demand that. I mean, you have the second in line. I mean, the sight of Mark Meadows this morning without a mask was shocking to me. And I do hope that does not suggest that there's casualness about this at the White House. But I've also seen pictures this morning of the president's medical advisor, Scott Atlas, also without a mask. After everything that's happened in the last 24 hours, I can't believe that's happening, but it is. You know, these people, this is not just their lives. Our lives, the lives of our children, our future, all depend on how yeah. alert and healthy a president is and what kind of a future he and his people have. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.